Okay, so this is one of those things I just have to document. It's like a miracle. It's like, <laughs> I just gotta, gotta put it down. So I'm with Corey. We're out cruising, doing a morning thing. And um, I was talking about, we're gonna, I'm gonna play Zach's video this morning. It's very, it's a very, very profound video. Zach used a song called, It's a Complicated Game. And um, he put imagery that he diligently searched for the imagery. And as I watched the video and then he tied it together to what the Lord's shown me, I was just like, wow, this is so profound. It's another person's, you know, way of coming about it and understanding and seeing the reality of, you know, God's message that he's let me give to you guys that you have to invert the whole world. And it's really the most simple thing in the world, but it's a complicated game. So anyway, Corey and I were leaving this parking lot and, and I was thinking about the, the lyrics to the song and it says, I think it's something like, should I do it with my left or do it with my right? And and then I, I looked at Corey and I go, that is so strange. I'm, cause in my spirit, I'm hearing like, turn neither to the left nor to the right. And I looked at Corey and I go, that's so weird. It's like in my spirit, I'm hearing it. I see a I see a rabbi in a synagogue saying turn neither to the left nor to the right. Well, when I said that I go, wow, that's from I think a movie called Jesus of Nazareth. Here's where the crazy part happens. So, I have a I have a, a DVD player here in my car and with some other electronics. And the other day they were working on some of my electronics and some of my stuff is not functioning properly. And I thought, you know what? I better check it out. I don't have a DVD in there. And I opened up my, my console and I had a, I had a CD uh, of some music. And in that CD case was the movie Jesus of Nazareth from the 70s. And so I was like, oh, wow. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to pop this in just to see if this dvd players working right here and i'm like you know so i put it in yesterday and i just made sure that it was working because of the other electronic issues that had happened since my car had been worked on blah blah and so anyway it worked and all i needed to see is that it turned on and started playing so i immediately stopped it and turned it off because i was like yep it's working everything's good and so as we were leaving the parking lot just a little while ago and i was like that's so weird turn neither to the left nor to the right so anyway, so I said, where, I was like, Corey, this is so weird. Like in my spirit, I'm, I was like, I hear the Lord saying, you know, it's from a rabbi in a synagogue. And I went, and out of nowhere, I went, oh my gosh, I think it's in the, I think it's here in the, in the DVD that's in my, is in my player, ne turn neither to the left nor to the right. And so anyway, I play this thing, I turn it on and I, I, I go, yeah, I think it's right here. And it starts playing. I'm going to show it to you. Anyway, it starts playing. And sure enough, it's the beginning of Jesus of Nazareth. But the part that's a miracle is what the rabbi says right before he says it. Because it ties into the video I did yesterday where the Lord told me, you know, Malachi 3, when the Lord comes suddenly to his temple. Okay, so anyway, so when the Lord comes suddenly to his temple, it's just like uh, he just comes quickly into you and that's your uh, that's where you're taken over and you're taken. Anyway, so I was like, wow, that is so weird. So anyway, I, turn, I hit play on this thing and it was just getting through the credits to the beginning, like credits, it's got a pretty big intro and that's right where this thing queued up. So now I'm gonna flip the screen and I'm gonna let you guys see what I saw because it ties into the last videos I did, like, you know, the 3.20 a.m. and the 3.21 a.m., like the end, 3.20 means the end, 3.21 means to carry away, and then he, I ended up in Philippians 3.20 and 3.21 when we change our vile bodies. I mean, <laughs> there's just no way to put this stuff together except, yeah, here we go. So, this is the Jesus of Nazareth movie. And this is what came on. And here we go. I'm going to request. I was like, there's no way that I'm hearing a rabbi saying, turn neither to the left or to the right, which has to do with Zach's video.
Now just remember this, we're leaving a parking lot, We're ta I'm talking about I need to let everybody read the lyrics to Zach's video, because if you don't know the lyrics to the song that Zach put this to, you'll never be able to hear them and understand them. But it's a very profound, short little video. It's very profound, especially with the imagery and the way he tied it all together. So anyway, that's what we were talking about in the, in the beginning lyrics. It says, should I do it with the left or do it with the right? Something like that. And then, and then I went, oh, that's so weird, Corey. I hear my spirit like turn neither to the left nor to the right. And what's going in my mind is some rabbi in a synagogue. Is that right, Corey? Yep. Yeah, exactly correct. Er, exactly. And just out of nowhere, I'm like, where is that? Where did I? And I went, oh, wow, I think it's in this movie. And I click play. So if the Lord's going to try and encourage you that he's coming to get you, I want you to think about what are the odds that I would have this video that was in a CD case just to try my electronics out, just to see if my electronics are working. I mean, what are the odds that I would be doing that, you know, just to, and then here's what comes on. You ready? Here we go. Let's hit play. In the hour when the King Messiah comes, <laughs> he shall stand on the roof of the temple <laughs> and proclaim that the time of deliverance has come. Those who believe and are faithful to God will rejoice in the light that will rise upon them. I'm going to pause it right there. Imagine you're me and you're like, what? Well, I just did the video with Malachi 3 where the Lord told me, go to Malachi 3. The Lord will come suddenly to his temple. He is like a refiner's fire and a fuller's soap. <laughs> and he's going to come in and purify the sons of Levi. Because when he comes into our temple, because he's already standing in the midst of us, some profound change is obviously going to happen. So imagine that. And then this comes on. Ready? Now listen to the rest. Arise. Shine, for thy light is come. Only take courage and be careful to observe all things written in the law of Moses. And turn not aside from them, neither to the right hand nor to the left. Pay care only of this in all diligence that thou love the Lord thy God. Amen. Amen. How cool is that? So I'm going to wrap it up with this. I mean, do you think that's even possible? I mean, is that a miracle to you? Of course it's a miracle. There's no way the odds, the timing, that DVD being in a CD case, my electronics being messed up in my truck because it got worked on. And I'm like, do I need to take my vehicle back and say, hey, you guys jacked up my you know, my electronics because they did on part of it. But this is working. It just happens to be... <laughs> turn neither to the left nor to the right and then the song that zach did it's like uh to the left or to the right it's just not possible but how does it start and when the hour that the lord comes it's that's just the lord letting us know he's coming that's the way it works <laughs> i love you guys peace and grace